<laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes, you, you don't think anything of golf, but other people do. Hmm. Now you watch this. Okay. Come on. Get up. Get up. Go and fetch it. Go on. Fetch it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's that dog gone? That's it. Come on. This old-fashioned snuff box was brought to me during the long run of the Wandering Jew in London. It was given to me by a lady who told me that it had been in her family for a hundred years. And this is the story she told me. Her great-grandfather, one day in the city of Tunis, found an old Jew lying on the road. He offered to help him home. When they arrived, eventually, at a large house, the Jew took from his pocket a key, opened the door, ushered the Englishman in. They went from room to room, full of priceless treasures and antiques. The Englishman, in amazement, said, Who are you? I find you in the, in the road, lying in the dust, in rags, and you bring me to a house like this. The old man replied, Of course, you'll laugh at me, you'll think me mad, but I'm the wandering Jew. And then he gave him this box. He told him to keep it carefully himself, not to give it away, because it brings bad luck to a woman, good luck to a man. And I must confess that ever since I've had it, I have had the most extraordinarily good luck. So I'm getting quite superstitious about it. questions heaping up. Where is the doubt they build on? Are you not sure that all my heart beats here to love you with? You had no fear of death. The day was yours, you said. You knew it. He could not kill you, for you knew your fate. And then again, an hour's oblivion in my arms, and at such a rate of usury as you could never hope to discharge. In God's name, who are you? It is all too late to ask me that. Too late to ask, but not too late to know. Oh, what do you know? Is he they spoke who of? Who spoke of whom? Of one who comes and goes about the world. Of one so vile that even lepers will not beg their arms of him. Whom do you speak of with such bitter tongue? Of him that did blaspheme the light of God. Of him they call the wandering Jew. Where's your denial? If you do find the words are bitter on my tongue. I'll not deny it. Tis true. Oh, God. I spat upon the Nazarene, and I would spit again if he did cross my way. Oh, what horror have I escaped. Sonia, you'd found the depths of me. Sonia, you'd beckon me to follow you to sin. And I had tried persuasions with you. It was love. Love. What should you know of love? What soul have I, you said, indeed? What soul? Or what soul ever will you have in all the age of time who only know the hunger of the beast? And I had thought you brave to play at hazard in the lists with death. Brave! <laughs> Why should you fear? You cannot taste of death until he comes to you again. Nor will he ever come until you have a soul above the beast. I did you go before with that such hunger as you say, but now that you have touched your body against mine, <laughs> bethink you not that I might make you stay. What is to hinder me? The loathing such as this I have shall be a sword to shield me. And when I think that mine have touched the lips that spat on Christ. Oh, sainted mother, shall I ever wash them clean? I think you it means aught to me of love all loathing now my need oh. is set. These lips shall kiss again, and yet again, and hating me will only add a savour to the taste of them. In my hands more than money, 
I'm the new thing. Right on, brave bird. The net is fast about you. More vile than sin you You've are. come too far down the road to turn your footsteps back. Vile, if this be vile, vile, you sin too far already in your mind for cheating God and shall not cheat me with your body now. Vile than it be. 